are now at the front elevation and we have subsided, we have differential settlement. Uh, we can tell it's differential settlement because we've got a crack running up here at 45 and another one at 45 and it runs up the wall. It's currently passing through the mortar, that's the weakest route that you can follow, so it would follow that. Um, but at some point it may start to move through the brickwork. It goes up to about here. Now in addition to that crack there, we have now in addition to the crack above the patio door, we have a cracked window. And that has been caused by the movement of the actual building. It's not uncommon for it to happen. There's also more cracking up here on the uh, brickwork running towards the side. So I would say that the rear right elevation of the property is settling. There are weep holes missing over the steel lintels. Weep holes should be fitted above those lintels to allow them to breathe and to remove condensation. Left as they are at the moment they can rust and cause problems. And one of the problems may be here with this lintel, the rusting has caused that lintel to sag and that cracking to appear there. There's two causes of it. Um, at the moment, we're not too concerned about it. It is cosmetic, it's very small, but it's there nonetheless, and that may be due to the lintel. So, continuing on the rear elevation, we have cracking here in the walls with the settlement. And that cracking's more to do with the rusting lintel. You can see the lintel's moved than it is to do with movement of the wall. So, the absence of weep holes is causing that cracking. I'm now standing at the uh, rear left elevation and we have a crack running up the hall here. And it goes right up to the decking above us. And that crack is actually quite large now. We've got about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch gap. Uh, so there is settlement at the left rear elevation of the property. There's another crack here running up from the window all the way up to the, the deck. I'm now standing at the left side elevation at the rear and what I'm looking at is a crack running in the brickwork at 45 degrees going down the side of the building. Let's see if you can zoom in and get a bit of a look at it. crack is caused by differential settlement, so I, I'm, I'm of an opinion that this building is settling. We have an additional crack running down the wall here. I'm now standing close to the expansion joint. It runs down the wall here to the window below. And the expansion joint is opening up. <coughs> and we can see here we have differential settlement crack running down the wall. <coughs> so my conclusion overall is that we have settlement in this building at the present time more indication up here we can see there's a trim board has moved apart. The diverter flashing here is apparently not working. You can see the water has been running down the wall here. Uh, that will cause uh, wood rot inside the framing uh, and that should be repaired and proper kick out flashing installed. I'm standing at the garage entrance here and we can see here we've got a large crack opening up in the mortar. Uh, this is a substantial crack. This is not cosmetic, this is serious separation. Uh, we've got a, about one eighth of an inch here and it's running down the brickwork to the, uh, to the foundation. 
So that's at the garage. We have a crack over the top of the garage here and here. Yes, and there's a settlement crack running down to the window here. We have another settlement crack running here. And we have serious erosion here at the foundation. This is a wall inspection. What I'm doing is looking for indications of foundation movement. We're starting with the right elevation because we have this erosion down here. Uh, and we're going to look to see if it's actually caused the foundation to move. And we come down here and you can see by coming close to it, we have a crack developing in the wall here it's actually uh, the transition between the two foundations this is in two-part foundation uh, laid on a on the grade and so you can see here we've got a crack and that's caused because this part of the building down here is starting to sink with regards to this and this part of the building is probably sinking due to this erosion okay this can be stopped this what this actual cracking um, by building up the grade along here We're still at the right elevation. There's separation around the windows due to settlement. That's all the windows along here. Um, at the front of the elevation of the house we have um, water damage here uh, it's been poorly repaired in the past um, and it needs repairing now the whole unit should be cut out uh, and removed and new uh, timber fitted it's at the front door we're looking at the electrical panel there are a few um, nut taps in here and we have a Earth line here, ground and neutral, they're bonded. The only problem is that the grounding bar, which we're going to go around and look at in a moment, is not driven deep enough into the ground. And the breaker for the uh, AC unit uh, on the east is uh, rated at 60 amp in the panel and it calls for only 30 amp on the uh, actual unit itself. This is the grounding bar. It's actually too far out of the ground. It should go into only having about a two inches exposed. And we've got about 18 inches exposed there, so it's not going to be as effective as it should be. And that needs to be driven right into the ground. On the day of the inspection, it was not possible to remove the cover from the bottom of the fire uh, to allow me to light the fire. The visual inspection from the other side and uh, the, the, the condition is in good order. Uh, the condition inside the uh, burn, uh, the 
logs uh, is good. So overall, it looks it looks in good order. But I wasn't able to light it because I couldn't open. The this is the air conditioning unit in the upper attic. It's had water in it at some point, but there's none there at the moment. The uh, condensate lines are correct. I had a look with him for a camera for the ducting earlier, and ducting was in good order, there's no leaks from it. The unit's been performing well. Got a good temperature drop across the whole of the uh, house. With this unit and the unit downstairs. Okay, we've got the heating on and the outlet's rising rapidly. We're at 108 and rising, so the heating's working.